What are you doing here? <laughs> Whatever you say. Goku, watch yourself and keep calm. We all know you can do this. Let me come with you. The three of us together could whip that guy easy. Sorry, Krillin, but you've already been brought back to life by Shenron once before. If anything were to happen to you now, you'd be gone for good. Maybe so, but don't let yourself get killed, Goku, or we're all dead. Master Roshi's right. Let us back you up if you need it. Krillin. Master Roshi. You're the best. We better head out. Bulma, got the Dragon Raider all working? You bet. I should have realized that was the four-star Dragon Ball on Gohan's hat. All right. It's all or nothing now. Goku, wait! Bulma, let's follow them. Say what? Kakarot, I thought you'd at least be smarter than this, but you have no idea how out of your league you are. You know, believe it or not, battles aren't just about raw strength. We'll see how long your strategicness keeps you alive. I'm sorry, brother. I was thinking about my offer and I've changed my mind. You'd probably just slow the rest of us down. And for betraying the Saiyan race, you will die! Say goodbye, Kakarot! What the? Power level 1307? Don't hurt my dad! No, stop! Don't do it! Please, he's just a... Just a child? Is that what you were going to say, Kakarot? Don't worry, brother. You'll see your son again? In the next world? What? You little... P Piccolo! Your attack! Do it now! Ah, are you insane? Maybe, but... It's the only way to beat you! Sorry to keep you waiting. Are you ready? Do it! No! Stop! Special Beam Cannon! On this planet, we have these things called the Dragon Balls. Leave them alone! You... you little brats! <laughs> Please let this work! Worthless idiots! That's not gonna be enough. Lightning surprise attack! What? Master Roshi! Now, Piccolo! End it! Special Beam Cannon! How could I have been beaten by such a small fry?
Okay, I'll leave Gohan's training to you. Goku? Are you nuts? I know. The old Piccolo was once our greatest enemy, but this one? After what happened today, I think we can trust him. Know what I mean? He's right. If it wasn't for Piccolo, we'd all be dead. And we've got a mutual enemy, so we could use all the help we can get. Gohan, what do you want to do? Piccolo is an amazing fighter, and if you ask me, I think he might actually be a good guy. Well, I... I want to be strong like you, Dad. So I'll do it. I'll learn how to fight with Mr. Piccolo. Well, if you're that eager, then there's no time like the present. Teach him everything you know, Piccolo. Wow, you guys have been training hard, huh? You bet. Gotta do our best to catch up with you. I finally finished developing that technique I was teasing before. Can't wait to show you. We're treating today's training as serious as the real battle to come. And we'll showcase all we've learned in preparation. How should we proceed, Goku? Yamcha! You game to train with me? Totally! Better give me all you got, Goku, cause I can tell if you're holding back! Yep, that's the plan! Out of my way! Why would you kill your own partner? <laughs> because I wouldn't be caught dead associating with someone who would be taken down by such low-class warriors. You really get on my nerves. You ought to show some more respect to others than that. Respect? <laughs> You're a poor excuse for a Saiyan. enough that Chouts' paralysis is working! Okay, this is our chance, guys! We did it! Guys! We really did it! We actually managed to beat that guy, and we did it together! <laughs> Yeah, we did, but I don't have much left in me after all that. <laughs> he put up a good fight, but we were more than prepared for him. <gasps> the the Saiyan! Don't worry, Gohan. He can't hurt you now. 
You were the worst enemy we ever faced. But I guess the least we can do is give you a burial. Who's burying who? Huh? Filthy Namekian! What do you hope to do with such little- mm -hmm. Now! Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! I'm begging you. Just let him go. I know it's selfish, but I don't I don't want him to die. We'll bring Goku back to life with the Dragon Balls. And the next time we meet, you're going down for good. Vegeta! I didn't expect to face you again so soon. Kakarot! If you've been revived, that means the Dragon Balls really do live up to the rumors. That's good! Listen up, all of you! If you don't want to die, you need to let me use these Dragon Balls to become immortal! <coughs> if you don't believe me, believe this! The Dragon Balls are being sought after by Frieza, the self-proclaimed Emperor of the Universe! F frieza And I can assure you, not a single Earthling could ever match his power. Frieza is considered absolutely invincible. But if I'm granted immortality, I can kill him and spare all your lives. So if you know what's good for you, hand over the Dragon Balls! You, you gotta be kidding me! After what you did to Goku? Why would we ever let you make a wish on the Dragon Balls? Yeah, no offense, but I find it hard to believe there's anyone who could be stronger than Goku anyway. Vegeta, even if you're telling the truth, I'm still not gonna let you use the Dragon Balls. And besides, the Earth is ours to defend! <laughs> Fine, then I'll just have to take them by force. Kakarot, what would you say to forming a temporary alliance with me to defeat Frieza? An alliance? It will still take some time before Frieza arrives on your planet. 
If the two of us train until then, we might be able to take him down together. Hold on. If this Frieza person is aiming to attack Earth, then how did you manage to get here before him? Frieza travels in a gargantuan mothership, so my more compact space pod allow me to land here much quicker. None of this changes the fact that we can't trust you. Guys, I think Vegeta's actually telling us the truth. I don't think he'd ever sacrifice his pride as a Saiyan warrior to lie about somebody being stronger than him. I don't know, just doesn't make sense to me. If anything, I think he'd much sooner die trying to steal the Dragon Balls than sacrifice his pride. Th then there really is someone stronger than you and Vegeta? And they want to conquer Earth? I believe you, and I think we have no other choice but to join forces. So, which one of you wants to die next? Don't start getting a swollen head just because you beat Kree, Vegeta! Dodoria and Zarbon! I might have known you'd show your sorry faces. You're even more foolish than I thought, Vegeta. Did you think teaming up with these Earthlings would put you on equal footing with Frieza? <laughs> then you're as foolish as I thought if you think I'd be relying on Earthlings. Wait... I recall Lord Frieza saying something about a Saiyan survivor that had been sent to the distant blue planet, Earth. A Saiyan who was raised on Earth? That'd be me! <laughs> a couple of monkeys flocking together. If the Saiyan race couldn't survive a little meteor, what makes you think you could survive against us? <laughs> Let's just make the last two idiots go extinct! First blood is mine to draw. Remember, Guldo, orders were to only kill one of them each. Don't get greedy. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hi. I'll give you one last chance to leave this planet peacefully. I'd take it if I were you. What did you say? Ha <laughs> ha! What a gentleman this guy is, Guldo. Caring about your well-being. Damn Saiyans forgetting their place. I'm gonna show you why the whole galaxy fears the Ginyu Force. Maggots clearly don't understand, so I shall illustrate. We are the best of the best of the Frieza Force! Nay, the entire galaxy! Raccoon! Bete! Jace! Guldo! Ginyu! Now, men, slaughter them all with style!
Now I can know how strong Vegeta truly is, with a first-hand experience. Vegeta, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Ginyu, before exterminating the Earthlings, you should take care of that other Saiyan first. Yes, my lord. That's Ginyu? What the hell's going on? Is Vegeta betraying us or what? I'm not sure, but we have to keep on fighting or we're... There's no other choice then. I'll just take your body instead! Change now! Kakarot, get out of the way! Whoa! I knew you'd use your power again soon enough. You've outlived your usefulness, Vegeta! I'll wind up with a lower power level. But desperate times call for desperate measures! What? Change not- Stop! And you froze for a second. What happened? That technique, it must be. Jutsu! You wish to do battle with me one on one? <laughs> I have never encountered such an overconfident imbecile in my whole life. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Kakarot. Frieza's race can transform to become stronger. Well, someone's done his homework, hasn't he? So you know my little secret? Let's just say some of your elite soldiers have loose lips. He can transform? You mean like that great ape stunt you pulled? You mustn't put me in the same league as your hideous transformation. In my case, I'm merely holding back the full force of my awesome power. If that's the case, go ahead and transform. I wouldn't want you to feel the shame of being defeated without being at your full strength. Oh, you're going to suffer dearly for such an insult. Rejoice. You will have the honor of being killed by my transformed state. Now, feast your eyes! What incredible energy! His power is practically doubled! You're in for it now. My second form makes the one you're familiar with look as gentle as a sleeping kitten. Kakarot! Vegeta! <laughs> Are you afraid? Have you realized that even combined, your power pales in comparison to mine? Kakarot, even you wouldn't be stupid enough to fight Frieza if you didn't think you had a chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. If I use my spirit bomb technique, I think I could beat him. But even then, it's got such a slim chance of working. 
Gathering enough energy for it takes more time than we have! What? The, what the hell are you going to do? I'm not risking the others' lives in this battle! So if we don't have an opening, I'm just gonna have to make one! Idiot! It's a futile effort! Neither you nor I have any chance of beating him! How could a low-class warrior like you ever hope to topple Frieza? Time to end this poor excuse for a battle. And my reward to you for all your valiant efforts. The privilege of seeing my final transformation. My true power! Now get ready! The waiting. What's this? Is that what I think it is? I, I've never seen a mass of energy that size. Ah, how unfortunate for you. Don't you hate it when a plan falls apart? I know I certainly do, but nice try. No! No, damn it! Special beam, come on! Gohan! Piccolo! What are you doing here? How is that brat? And that Namekian still drawing breath? I thought they'd been taken care of! I'm beset on all sides by sneaky parasitic flies! You just won't rest until I've been pushed to the limits of my patience! You meddling brats! I hope you all enjoy suffering the same fate as this planet! <laughs> okay, it's finally ready! Do it! Go! go! <laughs> what have you done? This child's play! Your beastly tricks their futile! Play. This is where our alliance ends, Kakarot. I will no longer be fighting alongside you people. And mark my words, one day soon I will defeat you. Seriously? Ugh, I was this close to inviting him to the victory party too. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe he'll show up when the party starts. I think we're growing on him. Actually, the next time we see Vegeta, I think he'll be intending to fight us for real. What? And like you said, who knows? Don't scare me like that, Goku! <laughs> At the very least, Frieza and his army won't be a threat to Earth anymore. Yeah, and if Vegeta does come back, I doubt it'll be anytime soon. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm totally starving! Thanks to the bravery of Goku and the others, Frieza is defeated. The planet Earth and the whole galaxy are at peace for now. The war was won, but the battles are far from over, for there are many other fearsome foes looming on the horizon. For Goku and the rest of our heroes, the saga continues. <laughs>